and staying on with the UK. It has come up with a rather bizarre quit smoking plan. You know what's, what it's doing? It's planning to initiate a scheme. It's called Swap to Stop. What's that? Smokers essentially will be encouraged to swap their cigarettes with vapes. In fact, Britain will provide 1 million vaping starter kits in order to reduce tobacco consumption. Will vapes replace nicotine patches in the UK? And why does the UK see vaping as a better alternative? At a time when children and adults are being urged to quit vaping, the UK is acting on the contrary. It is planning to reduce tobacco consumption below 5% by the end of the decade. But how will this be possible? It plans to do that by getting people hooked to vapes instead of cigarettes, it seems. What does Britain's swap to stop scheme actually entail? Let's break it down for you. First, 1 million smokers will receive a free vaping starter kit, which the UK says is the first of its kind. Next, pregnant women will be offered $497 to stop smoking cigarettes. The government will also launch a consultation to urge manufacturers to put advice on quitting tobacco inside the cigarette packs. The scheme also includes a crackdown on underage and illicit vape sales. And while the UK has a really low percentage of smokers as compared to earlier years, will the introduction of free vapes really help? Experts say that although vapes are less harmful, they are not the silver bullet. Let's first see how an e-cigarette really works. E-cigarettes, or vapes as they are called, contain a liquid which is made of a mixture of nicotine, propylene glycol, glycerin, and other chemicals. The machine is battery operated, so when the user takes a puff, it activates the battery, which then vaporizes the liquid and the user inhales the vapor. Now, make no mistake, vapes are addictive and they can cause serious long term effects. In fact, researchers have linked vaping to severe lung injury, heart attacks, neurological injuries, seizures as well. And all of these injuries are identical to the effects of traditional smoking. So how is this better? With more incidents of children using vapes, the UK government is planning to clamp down on shops selling vapes to people under the age of 18. The Department of Health, in fact, will allocate over $3.7 million to tackle the issue. So what is Britain's plan of action for the pro-vape scheme? The government is planning to include local authorities in the first wave of this free wave policy. This is before a larger national scheme is rolled out. Over the next two years, officials say the plan will cost nearly $56 million, which will be funded by the health department. It seems like the UK is planning to use the lesser than the two evils approach. Because neither smoking nor vaping is beneficial for human health. In fact, studies show that smoking is more harmful than vaping, but like we, like we said, vaping is addictive. Smoking affects non-smokers as well, as secondhand smoke contains more than 7,000 toxic chemicals, from which nearly 70 of them cause cancer. And hopefully the UK will be informing its citizens regarding the ill effects of vaping before distributing free vapes. But is this the best approach towards stopping smoking in the country? Or will this fall sideways and boost vape addiction? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.